this area here, winds were circulating this way right. over right. open water, right. and they just got nailed. Yeah. And you're going to see some houses down to nothing. Mm -hmm. Some are fine. So it'll be interesting to survey and see the different construction. Yeah, it's yeah. a great test. There aren't a lot of surveys that were done formally yet by the first team that went out, Roche's team in this area, but IBHS did some spot surveys and this was an area of particular interest. Okay, so we should, I don't know how far we would have pushed out before we stop and reorient. Um, you can see what happens to old construction yeah. in the storm this way. Completely big. gone. Wow. New construction right next door. Fine. They lost a lot of their contents. Looks like everything got wet. Oh my God, that was the house. The trailer went into right the house. Into the house. set a time and say how much time we want to spend here there's a point to push out here this triangle which should be interesting mm -hmm. whether we canvas this area for a while and set a timer on ourselves then push out to here do a single story single family home using a gable roof uh, can't tell the wall cover until we get a little bit closer but it looks like the home has uh, asphalt shingles we assume it has um, wood framing for its roof and it is elevated above grade um, you can see the soffits have been ripped away and you can actually see the, the roof joists exposed right there. So their real issue was actually that they lost their roof. Uh, there was no breach of the envelope, any other points on the house. You know, basically they said, you know, the gulf pushes it into them and it comes into that salt lake into them. And so um, they had it waist high there, the whole uh, story down. Yeah, they, like they, soft they, stories basically, and then they came down. There's no pier that survived, in, in, uh, but they, because they, the house... Okay, so today, I think that... The biggest takeaway point is for a hurricane, obviously, you have a large area that's damaged. And in Texas, in particular, you see a real mix of construction in terms of age of construction, quality of construction. If they had quality construction in terms of what we call continuity of load path, the connections being made between the roof system, the wall system at multiple levels down to the foundation, those structures perform well, even though we know that these buildings were rocking significantly in this storm and people could actually even see cracking and gapping in their homes. Um, it shows you the resilience of these housing systems when they're well connected to take that wind, give enough to ride it out and still maintain their load path. But the thing that gave me the most hope to be honest was the hospitality, the courage, the positive attitude I saw from people who had lost almost everything was a huge takeaway. We can work on the engineering, but having people who, um, who are more, even more resilient than these homes is probably the most important part of surviving a disaster.